What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back with the Let's Play Town Hall 9 account and as you guys see here we got four builders available, we got tons of gold, we got some elixir, we got some dark elixir, we gotta get some stuff going so let's go ahead take a look at the base, it's looking pretty good, we're getting some things upgraded and as you guys can kind of see here we're gonna be doing some goblin farming, it's been a long time since I've done some goblin farming and I'm really pumped up for it but let's go ahead and switch over to the progress base so we can actually get a better feel for what's going on in this account guys so if we see here our lab is open and we'll talk about that in a minute we still have to get those barracks upgrading but that's not a huge priority today i know i need those baby dragons but honestly i don't like seeing the lab down and i'm going to be spending dark elixir on heroes and we'll talk about that here soon but i also want to you know get grinding on some of these defenses get these bad boys going up I gotta get these defenses caught up to their standard level and then start getting some of them upgraded because we're basically a Town Hall 8 with Expos, which really isn't that much fun. I believe our air defenses are up. They are up uh, besides this little baby one. So we do have a little bit of progress, but we have a lot to go here, guys. So let's go ahead and start off by talking about the lab. So if you guys are pumped up before we get into this, make sure you guys subscribe with those notifications on. And if you enjoyed today's video, smack a like on it, guys. And leave a like on the video. Let me know that you enjoyed the video. So let's go check a look at our lab here. Honestly, we're probably about ready to hop into some wars uh, with some of our lower, our lower clans. Mad Ram, you know pretty much faces max town all nines so maybe i'll go to a feeder clan or something like that with this account or maybe i'll throw it into mad ram and see how we do against some mag max bases but if we take a look we got our witches maxed out we got our hog riders maxed out we got our lava hounds up one level so we got some good war troops over there uh we did you know work on stuff like the jump spell we get that up so that's always good we got our balloons up to level six we did get our goblins finished that's why we're goblin farming today but other stuff i want to look at is the healers and this is going to be for witch slap queen walks etc or the heal spell and this is a really tough decision for me guys i'm really stuck between the healers and the heal spell but i think what i'm going to go with today is going to be the healers for stuff like witch slap i think witch slap is going to be my best low army to go to to attack some higher bases so we're going to go ahead and get the healers upgrading if that makes any sense i know i just fumbled through all my words there but next will probably be heal spell i don't really like holding up the lab with the spells but heal spell gets used a ton hog riders gobo lalo i'm using heals in all those armies even witch slap you're using some heals sometimes so Heal spells definitely going to be the next upgrade. It just makes a ton of sense. But I want to get those healers going up. That way we can queen walk a little bit better. We can witch slap a little bit better, etc, etc. So also, guys, if we take a look here, we got our heroes 10, 12, which is very beautiful. However, I am in the sub war with this account. So I'm dropping a hero today for sure. But I'm going to be a little bit more cautious about what hero I'm dropping. And honestly, I'm going to spoil it right now, guys. We're going to drop the Barbarian King because I can kind of counteract that by throwing in more giants or more golems or just a little bit more tankiness, whereas the queen is just really huge value. I think I can make up for the king not being in. So we're going to upgrade the king a little bit later in the video. We do have 8 million gold, so we need to get some of that spent before we go out. Uh, we want to get these air defenses going up, of course. We want to get this Tesla going up, but also, I want to start getting some of these higher defenses going up. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that bigger Tesla along with that little Tesla. And then we'll keep that last builder to get our king going up towards the end of the video. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going out with goblins, mass goblins. It's a really cheap, really fast army that we're going to go out and just look for dead bases. And then if we have to... We can knife into the base with the goblins. But most of the time, we're going to be looking for dead bases with dead mines, dead collectors, dead drills on the outside of the base that we can just spend, send the goblins on and just rack up all that loot. And then if we have to knife into the base, I'll show you guys kind of how to do that. So what I do when I cook this army up is I just cook a bunch of goblins, throw in five or six wall breakers. For my spells, I literally just rotate, heal, rage, jump, heal, rage, jump, heal, rage. And then, you know, I get something like this. Clan castle, I'm requesting any ground troops, whatever spell, don't care. And that's what we're doing. So I'm going to go out, find a base. I'll be back really soon, guys. All right, guys. This is 100% why I love Crystal League farming. You find raids like this with dead loot all around the outside of the base. And this is why goblins are so beautiful. Because we can just throw in a few goblins like so. And just get them working all over the base like this. And just start working out all of that lovely loot, guys. And it's going to be super cheap. You're not going to have to use any spells. And you're just going to rack up all of that lovely loot. You can't complain about that. Oh my goodness, it's so easy. And then, 
you know, if you really, really, really want to get more loot, what you can do is you can, you know, throw your giants in here. You can throw down your jump spell, and you can just send in your goblins into the core like so. When we're doing goblin farming, guys, I am not worried about losing. That is the last of my concerns is losing the attack. I probably should have uh, healed up those goblins. <laughs> Losing is not the biggest concern. I don't care about the trophies. I'm okay with losing those trophies. The main concern is just trying to get as much loot for as cheap as possible. And as you see there, we pretty much gutted this base pretty fast using all the goblins. I didn't have to use the spells, but I wanted to kind of show you how to use the spells in the first attack because people don't like to watch really deep into videos usually. But that's why I wanted to show you guys, you know, how to use that jump spell and stuff. But we're going to, that's what we're doing today, guys. We're just going to wreck some bases with these goblins, get some nice upgrades going, get our king upgrading to level 13. I think what we're going to do is we'll get the king up to 15 and then probably get the queen up to 15. I'm going to try to drop these heroes back to back and kind of get them probably after I do my war attacks here in this attack or in this clan. I will probably try to have my queen down by tomorrow by just Dark Elixir farming like crazy with the goblins. So I'm going to go ahead, wait for goblins to train up, be back really soon with the next raid. All right, guys, this is exactly the kind of stuff we're looking for. Now, some of it is going to be in the storages, but we just want that free, easy loot on the outside of these bases that we could just grab up real nice and easy. Now, we are going to have to go inside to get that Dark Elixir, but that's not too big of a deal right there. That's why we have wall breakers. And realistically, uh, we have extra wall breakers because the last raid, we didn't use them all. So we'll go ahead, get our goblins going in there. And those level 6 goblins just absolutely eat up. And that's one of the reasons why I really wanted to get my goblins up. So we're going to go ahead and throw giants in here and just try to get them working in there just to distract some of these defenses. I could even throw my king and queen in here, you know, just to work on some stuff. Actually, I might even do that up top here. Use your king and queen. They're free. They don't cost anything. Always use your king and queen if you have them. If you only have your king, great, use him. If you only have your queen, great, use her. You know, use what you got. So we're going to go ahead, get those guys going in there, get the rest of this dark elixir, get some of these storages taken out. And just easy, simple stuff like that, guys. Don't have to use spells at all. Uh, you can just, you know, snipe out the easy bases and just wreck just like that. Now, there was some Dark Elixir in the center of this base that we could have probably went after, but I wanted to go the cheap route on this one to show you guys how to be super effective and get tons of cheap loot. 400,000, 400,000, 1,500 Dark Elixir with only using goblins and wall breakers. You can't beat that, guys. All right, guys, like I said, this is exactly what we're going for, and this is what makes goblin farming so fun and so easy. People are always like, I don't know how to use goblins. Like, why? They're not even good. Why are you using them? Goblins are super good just for this reason, guys. You go down to the Crystal League, you find you some good dead bases, and you just absolutely wreck them. We got that little bit right there. And honestly, just to save loot, I'm going to snipe it out with my heroes. So we're going to go ahead and hit our king, hit his ability. I'm going to see if we can get the queen to go in here. Uh, of course, she goes over to the lab. I want her to go in and get that Dark Elixir if possible. If we have to, we'll send in Gobbies. There we go. Right on the Dark Elixir. Perfect Queen. Again, we don't care about trophies with this. I don't mind taking the loss because we just got 500,000, 500,000, and 3,300 Dark Elixir with using 101 Goblins. You can't beat it, guys. Like, you can't. There's no way you can beat that. I know what you guys are saying, but you're losing so many trophies. It's not a big deal. When you want to gain trophies back up, you switch to Lunian, you switch to Jive Wiz, you switch to Queen Walk Pekka. Whatever you want to switch to to gain trophies and win raids, you can. And if you really want to win raids, you can knife your goblins into the center of the base. Let me see if I can find a base and show you guys how to get to the town hall with your goblins. Alrighty, guys. So, I hear you guys. I don't want to lose trophies. I, I hate losing trophies. Okay, that's fine. We can do that with goblins. And this is the lovely thing about goblins. When you want to get to the town hall... It can. Uh, so what we're going to do, this is the reason we have a jump spell in here, is we're going to try to path them in towards the center of the base. And in order to do that, we need to clear out all of the trash on the outside, mostly all of the elixir collectors, gold mines, and any dark elixir drills that are on the outside. And then I'm actually going to break her in here so we can go ahead and get this dark elixir that's right there as well. Try not to use all your goblins up while doing this. Try to use only half. You know, you want to only use like 100 or so. And then, if you have your king or something, I'm going to do this without clan castle troops just so we can show that it can be done. But if you have your king, your queen, or whatever, you can use them. But like I said, I'm going to use this without clan castle troops just to show you guys it can be done not using clan castle troops because I'm sure 
There'll be someone in the comment section. Oh, you had clan castle troops. That's such a crutch. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in here. We're going to get them all going right in through here. As long as we don't hit a giant bomb, we're going to be fine. We'll go ahead and heal them right there. Rage them all up. And that's, uh, that's a good amount of gobbies right there. We'll get them all working towards the center of the base. And they're going to get that town hall down. No clan castle troops. No heroes required. Just like that, guys. You saw it. You want to make a nice little path towards the center of the base. Take out anything in the way. Always be aware of storages. Storages will attract those goblins. Uh, and then just get right into the center of the base. I'll try to do it again on the next raid. We should be able to. I've gotten really good at it. You're not going to be great at this your first time around, guys. Don't get discouraged. Go back and watch my very first goblin video, and I was atrocious. It takes some practice. It takes some learning to see how goblins are going to act. But once you learn it, it's such a nice army to learn. So let's go ahead and find another base and show you guys how to get to the town hall with goblins. All right, guys, here's an absolutely monstrous raid for us. Tons of loot all around the base. So let's go ahead and go for it. This one's going to be a little bit tougher to get to the center of the base, but I'm going to still give it a shot for you guys, see if we can still get in there. Uh, let's go ahead and get our wall break in. Perfect right there. Wall breakers going in. Use those goblins as a little bit of a shield for the wall breakers. Get that dark elixir down. So what we're doing is we're just clearing out all these buildings on the outside. Now if we look, it's a little bit of a harder path towards the center of this base. And we got some splash damage all around. And we're going to have to cheat a little bit. Not necessarily cheat, but we're going to have to use our heroes. Use our giants and use our resources. Just to help us out a little bit. I want to get that enemy queen down just to slow her down just a little bit. The wall break might work here. If we can get a wall break in, that'll help us out just a little bit. Okay, that'll work out perfectly right there. Let's go ahead. And it, you could also use the goblins to kind of act as wall breakers. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get all these goblins going in here. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. And then we will rage them right over towards here. And then if we had to, we could always freeze. And just like that, guys. We're into the center of the base, through all that splash damage, tons of goblins still up, still got our queen going, and that's how we do it, guys. So, very easy stuff here to learn, it just takes a lot of practice. You gotta look at pathing through the base, not every base is gonna work for Goblin Knife. Sometimes you're gonna have to next a decent offer, because it's not gonna work for what you're doing, and that's okay, guys. Be patient, there's tons of dead bases down in the Crystal Leagues, nothing to get frustrated about, nothing to get mad about. If you're not catching on, just keep practicing it and just move. Like, don't get mad. If you're if you're getting mad, go to Loonian or something. Switch to a different strategy if it's starting to really tick you off. And then come back to it at a later date and time. Just don't let it bother you. Just practice it. Get good with it. It's a really great asset to have, honestly. One of my favorite strategies, and I haven't done it in a while. It's kind of a shame. But we're going to go ahead and hop out of here. We're going to go ahead and get our king upgrading. Look at that. 600,000, 600,000, 3,500 Dark Elixir. Oh, what a beautiful raid, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get our king upgrading again. Like I said, we're going to grind him up to level 13. But I'm also going to probably drop that queen tomorrow right after I do my war attacks and stuff. So let's go ahead and get him down. 43,000 Dark Elixir. No big deal there. The queen costs 51. Honestly, I can get the other 23,000 in an hour of goblin farming. So... Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video and hopefully this will help you understand how to use goblins a little bit better for your low Town Hall 9 farming. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Fashion.